It's story time. Can you believe it? It's coming again. Here it is. And it's a time for love. <laughs> yep, story time. So let's all uh, kick back and learn a little bit about um, the mission of uh, the Lord's Dove of Love. Life isn't about waiting for the storms to pass. It's about learning to dance in the rain, but never should any other uh, divine truth ever be ignored. Wheresoever they may lay, truth is truth wherever it is. And I'm here to set that straight. I don't care where truth is. Everyone has some truth and everyone should be respected from, for some of their truth. Uh, I don't care who you're talking, even the revealed lawless one, the one who would die from a sword and be resurrected, Morga official is his name, excuse me. Um, he's got his truth and a lot of truth uh, in the mouth of many people that uh, uh, people call false prophets. The witch hunt needs to, to, to end people. For one thing, uh, for sure, truth should never be ignored anymore. For ignorance always causes dim-witted people to give up their power because evil forces wrongly lead them to think that they've never had any, uh, they've never had any God-given authority uh, available to them from the very first time of their their first breath. But every single one of us, uh, their God is not a respecter of men. Every one of us has God-given authority and every one of us has a story to tell. And every one of us has truth. And every one of us loves and has loved. And those who love are born of God and know God because God is love. 1 John 4, 7. So if you don't have your love light on, if you want to be born again uh, to have eternal life, uh, it's already been given to us, but you must keep that light on. Nor is the very best of this life ever measured by the number of breaths that we take, but by the magnificent moments that we spend in the Lord God's holy presence of love, which always takes our breaths away. Therefore, spirit-led souls should never believe all that they see of worldly things, nor half of what they hear. But as far as our good shepherd's life and his love is concerned, only wise souls will have unshakable faith in his amazing story. For it always teaches, teaches that those of love that... Uh, uh, it teaches everyone that where great love abides, there also shall miracle, miracles flow, which our dove of the ages shall now be bringing forth all over the circle of earth as the Lord pours out his spirit of love upon all flesh uh, and a manifested word of joy. And it's only... A uh, task of his word is to reflect the magnificent glory of his honor, Emmanuel, our, our returning loving Lord of always, who comes upon the wind, comes upon the wind of change, as Acts 3.21 says. He's kept in reserve in he heaven until the days of his restoration by his word, with no unlawful additions to his word. The Bible has been changed. The core doctrine of Christianity had an addition uh, made to the Kingdom Age Covenant, which was not in its proper place and valid. There are a lot of invalidities uh, of how it's been used, but one thing for sure, uh, there was no condition whatsoever. Um, there, it was added by tradition that you have to believe in order to have God saying, I, uh, I'm going to forgive your iniquity and remember it no more. That was an addition that's never been valid because it was written to Israel and to all mankind. Jeremiah 32, 27, it says so if you read it. So know also all ye brethren of love that the determination to pursue a multitude of blessings can be found in the, the very first chapter of books that I write and throughout all of my videos uh, because it comes by the Lord's instructions for spiritual success and the perseverance of his followers in, a in embracing 
embracing the holy messages herein that will swiftly bring the obedient golden crowns for their obedience to God's love of the ages. There is nothing to uh, choose about the one world religion. What is it? It's the kingdom age faith of love. And you're either on the side of that or you're not. There's no doctrines involved at all. <laughs> uh, because God says, and now the, um, there, there, no one shall need to know anything more about and be taught about him anymore. This is in the kingdom age, new covenant that he has given by his messenger of Malachi 3, one, the covenant messenger. But one thing for sure, uh, it's time to arise then, O oh investors, because if you believe in love and you look to love, then you're investing in love, and that's a very profitable investment. So arise then, O oh investors, people who will obey the Spirit, for now is the needed hour of choosing thy consecrated ways of devotion in order to make wise investments through a commitment to learn more about the gospel of love that Jesus so loved to teach. And come, what comes with that is a gospel of praise. Now can our world be trans, uh, nor can our world be transformed unless people will invest in the things of the wind of God so they won't have to reap a whirlwind of desolation within their own lives due to their lack of knowledge as it is written in Habakkuk 2. Uh, God says his people are destroyed by their lack of knowledge. So it's time to learn about a new way that the Lord wants them to gain a deeper spiritual understanding about love so they may continually be prospering as they are abundantly blessed thereby by his word of love unconditional that he will never forsake them so uh, what I'm offering is a uh, scripture that is profitable for spiritual growth and all of the obedient ch children of that eternal father should understand that many preordained uh, commendations shall proceed from out of the holy lips of that glorious king of kings lord of love over any dutiful children of love who boldly presses into the exciting videos of his holy people's most uh, passionate praises and their deepest fervent worship in truth for love as everyone exalts love unconditionally. And such seekers of truth shall find themselves being raised up on eagles' wings, and God will then bear them up on the breath of dawn to help such children of light to shine like our blazing sun of righteousness, who constantly smiles over them even before they ever first came forth through his most loving command. The great commission of love to encourage all people to love will enlighten man. Therefore, this holy message of the dove of love de desperately needs to be spread all over earth so our everlasting Father's children will always be looking to him alone as the only living truth, love. For love is the only way of light leading unto man's eternal life for all those of the kingdom of peace. And the kingdom of God is within. And we are all born children of love. That is the end time revelation of the sons and daughters of God. It is written, um, Thus saith God in Isaiah 45. And he, the Lord said to me, He says, Daniel, my word, um, He says, um, Let me quote it correctly. He says, Of things concerning the future of my sons and daughters and the work of my hand, command ye me. I did, and He gave me a miracle and proved to me that uh, He was sending me forth with a word of recognition for his church and for the mosques and for temples and for synagogues and for uh, believers and non-believers alike because as long as people have their light of love on we can be united in love because those who love are born of God and know God because God is love even if we don't uh, think we know him we do because he's the love that uh, sustains our life just like fish swimming in the water Water. They might not know they're in water, but it gives them life. And by way of that authority of all things, 
Let it now be made known that our Lord God Almighty shall always allow justice to fall quickly upon earth's foolish souls who dare to be spiritual nomads. Stop it. Don't be a spiritual nomad anymore. Get hooked in into correct understandings of love and then nothing matters anymore. Um, there's nothing to be taught about uh, the, uh, our Lord anymore uh, beyond uh, understanding his love is unconditional for all those who will keep their love light on. The Bible says that those who walk in the Spirit are under no condemnation. Walking in the Spirit simply means with your love light on. And uh, so don't be spiritual nomads. Those of love obediently seeking his truth of love shall see that the knowledge of what is doesn't always open up the door of what should be, for such providence is reserved for Father God alone. It's time to stand up for his righteousness and his love. So praise our light of lights forevermore, people. Regardless of uh, what religion we are, we can all uh, exalt love for all of the children of obedience with eyes to behold his fiery w word through the words of uh, my videos um, it, it, it brings him over the top honor that's aflame with the hottest fires of his unconditional good graces for us all good tidings to all men and all of this shall now be unveiling some barely, very badly needed gospel truths that satanic curses have long fought hard against. At the same time, let the obedient please take it to heart that our living wisdom of the generation uh, now allows the subject of his blood-bought redemption to run deeper than any shadowy curse of evil that has ever haunted humanity. And it doesn't matter whether people want to believe it's there or it's not. He just loves us that much that he provided that um, for us, that atonement. So try comprehending now that the excellence of the goodness of that Lord of all things has always gone before anything wretched within his vast unseen spirit realm. Blessed are those receiving the inner witness that our brightest dawns can never compare to our faith's brightness. Nor should the people of his endless love allow bad circumstances of life to nibble away at their own peacefulness anymore as Satan tried to swallow that up in times past because he has been banished. According to the word of Daniel 12, Satan is not on this earth anymore because the covenant has been given and God says, I shall forgive your iniquity to all people of love and remember it no more. So according to the word of God, Satan can never again be the accuser of the brethren. And Michael has stood up for the people of God and has uh, banned, b banished him to the pit for 1,000 years so that we can save this earth through love and without his interference. Sure, there's uh, leaderless imps uh, on this planet still that haven't been uh, thrown in the pit as of yet, but uh, their day is coming soon. But without their leader, they don't got a chance. Love shall always win. And uh, of his endless love, uh, it, it, it's allowed bad circumstances uh, to, to perfect us because love is perfected in the fire of pain awfully. Uh, I hate to say it, but that's the way it is many times. And all things do work uh, together for good for those called according to his purpose. And for that reason, the Lord God is now sending forth uh, many godly instructions born upon his holiest wind of change uh, in accordance with Revelation 3, that uh, the trial of patience and the, his word of patience given to us during this trial of all flesh would keep us from the hour of temptation not to change. And all of this is born upon his holiest wind of change. So try to see that uh, his word in my videos uh, brings forth wonderful wonders and, and treasures of heaven that will be given to all of those calling out 
the Messiah's blessed name of love for all those open to hearing about his exaltation and understanding uh, end time prophecy once and for all because I am the messenger of desolate heritages according to uh, Isaiah 49 8 and that is what we've had because for 2,000 years Christians have been running around trying to save people with their love lights already on and um, one thing's for sure people need to understand that the ferocious sting of death has been sent and that the sting and that the strength of sin is the law and Christ came and uh, satisfied the law and uh, he didn't come to abolish it it's still written on our hearts but the law is something that he he came to set us free from and that is exactly what what he's doing now for the mindsets of, of many must change so that people can play along nicely in the sandbox and Christians need to realize that first John 4 7 those who love are born of God and know God because God is love applies to everybody Buddhists love Hindus love atheists love the Antichrist love morgue official you love you still got a hope but thanks to our Lord God who loved man so much that he gave us the coming victory of eternity's most powerful grace unto everlasting through our Lord Jesus Christ, Isa Yeshua, Jesus Emmanuel, who comes as love for all people of love. And as scripture has always taught, our loving great physician is additionally so forgiving and compassionate with his unending mercy. Seventy times seven, he forgives the same sin over and over and over. That he'll even be pardoning any sin that's not unto death. And the Bible says so according to his word. And by the flames at the and by the flames at the gates of hell, many shall be cleansed and saved by fire as their love explodes and comes back on as they're born again and they're purified into becoming holy beings without spot or wrinkle uh, within their beautiful silk robes of the whitest white as uh, their love shines forth crimson hues. The rainbow of God has been given to all of us to shine the, the beauty of love for us. So exalt ye therefore our great amen, O brethren of tranquility, for his grace shall even be given back unto every black backslidden soul of love because he has long ago promised that nobody put into his hand could ever be, end up becoming lost to his abundant life that he always brings if they will keep their love light on and not commit blaspheme of the Holy Spirit to let their love perish and wax totally cold. So it's time to become dedicated to the cause of love that will save this earth and unite all men to fruition of his word of John ten sixteen. He predicted that uh, in the end uh, there would only be one good shepherd over all flesh. For all the lo loving hearts of his dedication shall yet come to see themselves rising up within our Lord of Lords ever so brightly in love. Then that hallowed sunrise of heaven will arise as a spectacular color dream amongst mere black and white scenes, which will be spotlighting his newest time of God's fullest grace, which will be running all over the world's four corners over the circle of earth. And because of the above truth, our Lord of love would rather see one of his faithful few crashing into the smoldering gates of hell, which can't prevail against them, than for them to become lost therein and loveless for eternal eternity. So praise our heaven-sent Messiah, Isa Yeshua, Jesus, Emmanuel, who comes again, now and evermore without ceasing, O elect of heaven. Let the, let the celebration begin, the, the seventh trumpet sounds and all nations have become the Lord's the mystery of God is over the first our last and the last has been first the perfect covenant has come the kingdom age covenant of Jeremiah 31 
For only the Lord is worthy to open up the blessed book of life and the accursed book of death. And he's opening all the canons. His word says so. His word was only closed until the time of the end, Daniel 12, 9 and 13. And that is the manifestation of his word. So behold now his remarkable way of holiness. And always beware of self-righteousness in every possible shape and form. For some deceived followers of Christ receive as much harm from their virtues as others do from their sins. Therefore, most blessed are those choosing to fall upon our rock of the ages, for they'll be spared from the fire's most blistery stings once that cornerstone of faith won't need to fall upon them as their love comes alive. For such dutiful sons of light in, the, uh, in these days of the beginning of the kingdom age shall embrace his golden rule tightly so that all things whatsoever they do not wish uh, that another do unto them they would never do unto any other person as well the golden rule and people i got to tell you that in the fullness of the um, kingdom age this is the, the kingdom age is only started intellectually jesus said in matthew 24 22 that unless these days were cut short of the age of grace is what he was talking about um, that no flesh could survive uh, so to cut it short he has done that by sending his kingdom age covenant message as the bible predicted so that uh, love can be uh, uh, flashed across this world in a way that will save this world so uh, look, let's look at the fish <laughs> Let's look at the fish and realize that God feeds them and he's going to feed us. So have a little bit of love out there. And uh, from Windsor, Ontario, I guess I'm signing off now. So uh, check out my other videos and make sure you check out the last 15 minutes of my one video called The Prophetic Word of Joel Osteen. Uh, therein, I, I have my rock star uh, debut with my long hair hanging down. Uh, this is just my love hat. <laughs> For those wondering, sometimes I have it on, sometimes I don't. But uh, before I had it cut, I gave the covenant to uh, all flesh uh, according to the word of God. And um, I grew my hair long only for that one video uh, 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 only, alone, uh, in order to show my solidarity with the early Hebrew prophets and uh, love love will save the day are you a person of love so remember because that's what's going to save the day and uh, you heard it here first so uh, let that love light come and remember